<laughs> this guy's toast. Every now and then, I get messages from viewers asking me for advice on how to climb the ladder without a big card collection. You know, they're stuck in rank 15 and they feel like they can't climb because they're missing a few epics or legendaries. And this kind of got me thinking, how high can I climb up the ladder with a brand new Hearthstone account and without spending any money? So three weeks ago, that's what I set out to do. I tried to approach it with a very budget mindset, which means two things. One, no disenchanting good cards just to build one deck. In order for this challenge to be useful to budget viewers, I can't expect them just to dust everything to make one deck. So I made a point to only disenchant cards that don't see any play. Number two, no arena runs. Even though arena can give significant rewards to good players, not everyone can perform well in them. So after going 2-0 with my free arena run that everyone gets, I just conceded three times in a row and collected my two win reward. My first arena reward. Oh, whoa, <laughs> I broke even. So, as long as you get two wins, you can break even, right? Okay, so the initial goal for this challenge was just to reach rank 10 with a really cheap deck. Unsurprisingly, I went with mid range hunter. Most of the cards are common, with only the two Savannah high mains being the required rare cards. So, this was what my deck looked like on day one. Not the strongest deck ever, but good enough to start climbing the ladder with. With a win rate of 79%, it took me 42 games to reach rank 10 from rank 25. If you had Holy Nova, shouldn't you kill Command while you had Beast? Uh, not really, because I'm going to be able to drop Stranglethorn Tiger, which is a guaranteed Beast, unless he wants to Dragonfire Potion, which, again, we're okay with. Nice, 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 nice. We hit rank 10 with an uh, account that's, like, less than a day old in terms of resources. So, I'm really happy. I was feeling pretty skeptical about my ability to climb any higher, though. Rank 10 is where people start to play the most popular meta decks. But since the win streak bonus is still in effect, I figured, why not? With a few new additions to my deck list, it took me 42 games to go from rank 10 to rank 5. The same amount of games it took me to go from 25 to 10. Free to play! Yeah, I'm really happy. Um, really happy. I don't know if I can do a legendary push though. We'll, we'll try to do a legendary push. It's hard. And at this point, since I'm already so close, why not just try to go for legend with the budget deck? Without the win streak bonus and everyone else playing the best decks in the meta, it was going to be a tough challenge. But after 105 games and 11 hours of gameplay, I finally did it. Enough with the steeds, man. <sighs> yes! Yes! Oh my god, I didn't think it was possible. Free to play hunter. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. This was what my deck list looked like at the end. Due to the budget restriction, we don't have Kindling Grandmothers or Rat Packs. We instead substituted with Firefly and Ravisaur Runt, two cheap alternatives. Nesting Rock was a late addition and has been performing really well. It can help you stabilize against more aggressive decks like Pirate Warrior, and it's also just really cheap. Eaglehorn Bow is a bit more expensive, but with Murloc Paladins and Secret Mages being popular, it helps to have something that can deal with your opponent's board without sacrificing your own minions. Direwolf Alpha synergizes well with your Fireflies and Unleash the Hound, as well as any spores you might get from adaptations. The key to winning most of your games is just to have a strong opener. Alley Cat into Crackling Razor Maw can be just devastating. 
Try to use your hero power often in slower matchups, and don't forget that kill command can actually be used on the face, which is something I forgot once. Twitch chat, please tell me how I'm missing a lethal right now. <gasps> oh, wait, no, this is right. It doesn't do damage with divine shield. <laughs> yes, interaction. Oh, wait, I could just kill commanded face. Oh, yeah, that's the fourth group kill command face hero power. Since I hit Legend with my free-to-play Hunter, there's been a lot of discussions on social media arguing over what I was trying to prove. Some people say that what I did wasn't anything impressive, that hitting Legend at the end of the month is easy, that the deck was essentially just mid-range Hunter, or that I got bad opponents. There was even people accusing me that I only switched to free-to-play Hunter for my final game, and that I actually secretly used another deck to climb to Legend, even though I streamed the entire run with free-to-play Hunter. And honestly, that's fine. Different people would take different things away from the run. I've also received messages from people saying that the challenge inspired them to climb the ladder again. People telling me that they reached a new high rank using the same hunter deck I was running. And those people are the reason why I did this run. It wasn't to show off my skills. It wasn't to make a statement on the cost of the game. It wasn't to prove anything. It was just the fun challenge I decided to do after hearing some of my viewers talk about having to struggle with a small card collection. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for me today. Sorry for the slow content releases lately. I've been focusing a lot on this free to play legend climb in order to make this video. And now that it's finally done, I hope to have more frequent videos again. Remember that you can always find me every day on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash disguisedtoasths, playing some strange deck or another. Please do comment below on how you feel about cheat decks, the cost of Hearthstone, and let me know if you'd like to see more budget-friendly content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Hey, lights out.